weaknesses I see in me will be stripped away by the power of your love. Hold me close, let your love surround me. Bring me near and draw me to your side. And as I wait, I'll rise up like the eagle, and I will soar with you. Your spirit leads me on in the power of your love. Lord, unveil my eyes. Let me see you face to face the knowledge of your love as you live in me. Lord, renew my mind as your will unfolds in my life, in living every day, in the power of your love. Hold me close, let your love surround me. to your side and as I wait I'll rise up like the eagle and I will soar with you your spirit leads me on in the power of your love hold me close let your love surround Draw me to your side And as I wait I'll rise up like the eagle And I will soar with you Your spirit leads me on In the power of your love And I will soar with you Your spirit leads me on in the, the power of, of your love. Thank you. We have one more for you. We really need you guys to sing with us on the last verse. It'll be uh, a cappella. You'll feel it. It's going to be really good. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King. In what you hear, may it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. I love you, Lord, and I lift my hands to worship. As my soul, soul demands, take joy, my King, in what you see. May I be a sweet, sweet child on your knees. Sing it out. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship. 
rejoice. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning back there. Good, morning. Good to see you today. Welcome to our outdoor worship. I know you received an email from me telling you uh, about how all the weather people had agreed on. Uh, it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous day. And uh, they're only right half the time. And so we're looking forward to the sun coming out any moment and uh, warming us up just a bit. We're glad you're here today, and a special welcome to visitors and guests who are with us. Uh, normally, we're inside uh, for our worship, but today we're going to enjoy God's great uh, creation, uh, the beautiful uh, 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 creation that surrounds us and how it is that we can celebrate summer together. And so thank you so much for coming. Uh, a little announcement to be made is that today is also a little bit different in that uh, following our worship, uh, we have a number of people who have spent some time out on the lake and they have caught uh, huge, huge fish, uh, crappies and sunfish that are almost state records. And they have filleted those up and they are breading them and they're going to do that. There's potato salad and beans and all kinds of stuff to go with a fish fry. And for those of you who don't like fish, I know it does happen occasionally, but you should try it, just one, and you're going to be converted on the spot. You'll be saying, you'll give your testimony to the truth of eating fish at that particular point. Or you could have a cookie and a cup of coffee and enjoy it too, okay? Either way. Take a look at the announcement sheet that's inside your, your worship folder. There's uh, several things going on here this week. Uh, in particular, for you parents who have young children at home, uh, we have a summer story time uh, that is on Tuesdays at 9 a.m. where we read uh, a story to the children. We have an activity, sometimes music, and then we read a second story. Uh, it's an hour long, uh, and you're welcome to come and bring your children and be a part of that with them. It's been really good, and uh, uh, some parents and uh, the kids have just been enjoying it as well. And then the second is that Wednesday night, we start our midweek worship series on uh, the road trip with Paul, the Apostle Paul. And so if you don't know a whole lot about Apostle Paul, uh, he wrote the majority of the books of the New Testament, the letters of Paul. And with that, we'll be spending time on his road uh, trip where he was going and headed uh, throughout uh, the Middle East and then finally uh, to Rome. Uh, so come and be a part of that and uh, bring your Bibles and learn a bit uh, more about the Apostle Paul. Uh, other announcements that you'd like to make? Anybody have one? Uh, you can go to the pulpit. Huh? Oh, yeah. Great. Good morning, guys. Hey, can I? Oh, I can go to the pulpit. Look at that. Um, well, good morning, everyone. Um, I just had two quick things I wanted to throw out. Uh, one is very uh, spur of the moment, but some high schoolers have kind of come together and decided they wanted to start um, a little Bible study over the rest of the summer. So if there are any high schoolers interested, um, on Tuesday nights this week we're starting at 6.30, um, and then at that we're going to kind of find what time works best for us. But um, we're going to be doing a little summer Bible study looking at the minor prophets, 6.30 to 7.30. We're going to be meeting at my house and having dinner together, um, and it's going to be great. Um, and then the other thing is just if you've got middle schoolers or high schoolers, we have stuff going on every Wednesday night at church for the rest of the summer. Um, two weeks from now, or really a week and a half from now, we'll have a water night on Wednesday night. We're going to have a bunch of water games and stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, every Wednesday, we're always going to be here playing games and having a little lesson. Um, yeah. Valley Fair? And Valley Fair. We are going to Valley Fair. Thank you. That was the last one. On August 8th, we are going to Valley Fair. Parents, you should have gotten an email from me. 
Um, but 6th through 12th graders, it's going to be, I think actually my email may have said 28. I think it's $29 online to just help cover their, um, the credit card fees. But um, August 8th, we'll be meeting here at 9 in the morning and then going back and getting back to church around 6 o'clock at night, but having a fun day at Valley Fair. So Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Anybody else have an announcement? Mary? Okay. Yes, we have something special for you to take with you. Yeah. Anybody else have an announcement? We're beginning to sign up for the corn feed, and so we'd love to have uh, you as a volunteer to be a part of it. You can see the signups are on the table in there, and so please uh, make note of that. If not, be sure to mark your calendars for Saturday the 12th of August, and uh, we'll have a spectacular day weather-wise, and it will be uh, delicious corn, and we're welcoming all of our neighbors to come. Last year we had around 300 and some uh, or more uh, that were a part of it. So it should be a great, great day, and we need you as volunteers. All right, well, that's enough announcements for today. I invite you to stand, if you would, and let's, uh, let's join in singing. Now is the time to worship. Come, and now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come, just as you are before your God. Come, just come as you are. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come. Just as you are before your God, come. One day every tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. And still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Come. Now is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time to give your heart. Give your heart. Come. Just as you are to worship. Come. Just as you are before your God. Come. One day every tongue will confess you are God, and one day every knee will bow. But still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Willingly we choose to surrender our lives, and willingly our knees will bow. With all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, we gladly choose you now. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come. Just as you are to worship, come, just as you are before your God, come, come.
just as you are to come. I invite you to reach out to those beside you uh, across the aisle as we join hands and uh, gather the family of God together here this morning. I invite you to bow your heads and let's offer a time of prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to just say thank you for a beautiful morning, uh, for the glory of your creation that you've set before us. We thank you for the, the, the wonderful, heart, or the wonderful uh, fields of uh, corn and soybeans and all that's out there, Lord. We pray, Lord, too, that uh, you bless our time of worship as we share it together. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Share the peace. be with you. Yeah. invite you to remain standing if you would. And if you look inside your worship folder, you'll see the confession and forgiveness that's printed there. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open and all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, we confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, and we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of your sins. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite you to be seated. I invite the children to come up for a children's message, if they would. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, and the letters to the Romans. First and second Corinthians, Galatians, and Ephesians. Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, Jude and Revelation.
thing to get people to commit to any habit, no one knows what they're doing wrong, no one knows what they're doing right, right. right. and no one knows what they're doing right. wrong either, and life does not need to be perfect for you to get there. Come to me with all your wounds you are carrying and holding on any given day. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. <laughs> Much appreciated. Holy cow. All right. This just feels so different. You're none of you are in the usual place. Well, as, as you uh, heard, uh, we are talking about uh, road trips throughout the summer and what road trips are like for us, both, both uh, vacations and the road trips we take there, but also the road trip of life uh, and the road trip of our faith and how it is that Jesus goes with us. So far, uh, we're about halfway through our series just about. And with that, we've learned um, that going on a road trip is better if we do it together than if we just do it alone or on our own. And so we gather to be a part of that road trip of faith uh, as the church, uh, but we gather also as friends and individual Christians uh, in order to do that. The second thing that we've learned is that it's not just the destination, getting to Mount Rushmore or getting to wherever the lake or wherever it is that we're going. Destinations are important to us, of course, but it's the journey in between our beginning and the destination that really has greater, deeper meaning. It is the place where the Holy Spirit begins to work in our lives and opens up our eyes to see what God is doing in unexpected and amazing ways opens up our ears to hear the needs that are there and gives us the means by which to share that good news and to help others. Third thing is, is that road trips are indeed life. For us as followers of Jesus, road trips are where we grow in our relationship with God in Christ Jesus and where we grow in our relationship with each other. Road trips then are very important to us Lastly, we learned that Jesus, as Mark has shared with us, goes with us no matter where we go. Jesus is there with us. We've had a lot of fun so far. Uh, we've had a lot of pictures. If you look on the back of your worship bulletin, you'll see pictures from this last week. And there are many more of flat Jesus showing up at different places. Um, the one that amazed me was last week where um, uh, someone was launching off a, uh, a diving board and had flat Jesus right in midair before they went in the pool. So uh, flat Jesus goes everywhere with us as we travel life. So thank you for sending them in. I encourage you to do that as well and uh, keep them coming. Uh, if you don't have a flat Jesus, uh, we have extras available. Uh, see the display. For parents who are here who have not picked up a um, one of our uh, road trip luggage or suitcases, we have that inside. You'll find games and other activities for the kids uh, while you're on your road trip. So please take it with you. Well, let's, let's take a moment here to begin by having prayer. So please join me. Lord Jesus, we're, we're thankful today um, that we can gather like this for worship, where there's a breeze blowing and the, the sun peeking out from behind clouds. Your creation is marvelous, Lord, and we're just grateful that we can share it together. We ask now, Lord, that you open up our eyes to see and our ears to hear your good news for us, how there's a resting place, um, not only physical, but spiritual as well. So bless us, Lord, as we come to you with our burdens. In your name we pray. Amen.
Savior, I know for sure. All of my days are held in your hand, crafted into your perfect plan. You gently call me into your presence, guiding me by. Your Holy Spirit, teach me, dear Lord, to live all of my life through your eyes. I'm captured by your holy calling, set me apart. I know you're drawing me to yourself. Lead me, Lord, I pray. Take me, mold me, use me, and fill me. I give my life to the potter's hand. You call me, you guide me, you lead me and walk beside me. I give my life to the potter's hand. You gently call me into your presence, guiding me by. Your Holy Spirit, teach me, dear Lord, to live all of my life through your eyes. I'm captured by your holy calling, you set me apart. I know you're drawing me to yourself. Lead me, Lord, I pray. Take me and mold me and use me and fill me. I give my life to the potter's hand. You call me and guide me. You lead me, walk beside me. I give my life to the potter's hand. Take me and mold me and use me, fill me. I give my life to the Potter's hand. You call me, you guide me, you lead me up beside me. I give my life. Let's join together in a confession of our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. This is the time in our worship where we share yay God moments. And what's a yay God moment? It is one where we give thanks to God uh, for something that's happening in our, in our life, uh, in the life of our family, our community, uh, in the life of our church. 
And if there's a prayer need there too, we lift uh, those kinds of things up during our Yay Gods. And so anybody can share one. And so if there's anybody that would like to share a Yay God this morning, I'm just going to invite you to stand up and uh, uh, speak loudly. Because <laughs> we don't have a microphone. Okay. I'll start one, Pastor. Oh. Uh, yay, God, for this beautiful weather this morning. And so we could actually celebrate this service outside here. So, yay, God. Amen. Yay, God. God. Yeah, very Plus, good. I would have been in huge trouble if we needed a tent this morning. So, even an extra special yay, God. It worked out just fine. Didn't it? Yeah. This is uh, the <laughs> tent of God's creation we're under. Yeah. So, thank you. Others? Diane? was a scary thing for me because I had to, my son lived out on the East Coast. He was at Martha's Vineyard and he invited me to come out. The only way I'm going to get there is to fly. So I started out by saying, I can't do this. But then I talked to the Lord and he said, I'm going with you. You can do this. So I got on a plane in Minneapolis, got to Boston, got on a bus when I got to Boston, got to another terminal, got another little seven passenger plane, and got to the island all by myself, and I just praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Yay, God. Yeah. I, I suspect Marty was with you, too. Yeah. <laughs> other yay gods. Way back there. Jan, speak up. Yay God! <laughs> Anybody else have a yay God this morning they'd like to share? I have one. Um, the yay God was actually a prayer request for my host mom or foster mom. We, we just lost our uncle Dave is what we call him. He was um, the family that took us in. This was in when we moved here from Nigeria. Took care of us. He went there for holidays, for years and years. And he just passed away. So just Pray for her. Pray for they were married for fifty five years. Prayers uh, uh, and for their loss too. Yeah, God bless you. Yay, God. Um, others, anybody else have one? Yeah, go ahead. Yay, God. Yeah. The surgeries were a success, and uh, you'll be fine. Good, good. Other yay gods this morning? Anybody else want to share one? Well, let's uh, say a definite yay God for the people who are providing the fish fry this morning, don't you think? So yay God for that, uh, without a doubt. And uh, I teased Mallory just a little bit, but I want to say a yay God for her graduation and for the nice party that they threw out at the farm. That was quite, quite lovely. So thank you for that. Yay God for graduations. Yeah. And I, if you had been here a week or so ago, you would have uh, about six in the evening, you would have seen, I don't know, there was 15 or more people who are all out here uh, working the landscape, putting down the mulch. Uh, and the like, and uh, just uh, look how beautiful everything looks all the way around. Let's say a yay God for them as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to receive our offering at this time, and so I just want to invite you, if you would, to um, share in that. We'll pass the plates. Uh, it's uh, not exactly straight rows here, so uh, please help get us uh, get the plate around. But thank you, thank you today for your gifts and support the ministry here. God bless you.
Alarm clock screaming, bare feet hit the floor. It's off to the races, everybody out the door. I'm feeling like I'm falling behind. It's a crazy life. 90 miles an hour, going fast as I can. Trying to push a little harder, trying to get the upper hand. So much to do in so little time. It's a crazy life. Ready, set, go, it's another wild day And the stress is on the rise In my heart I feel you say Just breathe, just breathe Come and rest at my feet And be, just be Chaos calls, but all you really need is to just breathe. A third cup of Joe just to get me through the day. Want to make the most of time, but I feel it slip away. I wonder if there's something more to this crazy life. I'm busy, 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 and it's no surprise to see that I only have time for me, me, me. There's got to be something more to this crazy life. I'm hanging on tight to another wild day when it starts to fall apart. In my heart, I hear you say, just breathe, just breathe. Come and rest, rest at my feet. And be, just be, chaos calls, but all you really need is to take it in, feel your lungs, the peace of God that overcomes, just breathe, just breathe. Let your weary spirit rest. Lay down what's good and find what's best. Just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe. Come and rest. Rest at my feet. And be. Just be. Chaos calls, but all you really need is to just breathe. Is to just breathe. Thank you. I invite you to stand, if you would, please, and we're going to share in some prayer before we uh, sing our closing song. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you uh, for all that you bless us with, for providing for our every need and reminding us what our, our wants should be. Lord Jesus, too, we are grateful today that we walk with you as our, along on our journey and that you guide us in our path through your word. We ask now today, too, Lord, that, um, that you would care for those who need comfort and healing in their lives, for those who are in the hospital or places of care, for those who are about to undergo surgeries of different sorts, those who are wrestling with treatments and uh, the need there for healing. So, Lord, bless them with your comfort. Give them your healing presence and be with those doctors and nurses and caregivers of every sort that surround them in their healing. Lord, in your mercy. And Father in heaven, too, we're, we're mindful that not all of our healing that's necessary has to do with our physical bodies, but emotionally too and spiritually in our lives and we just pray lord that you would bring healing and forgiveness to those things in our lives that need that and and heal that brokenness so that we might live whole and full lives in you lord in your mercy we lift up to you lord those who we partner in ministry with those uh, churches in our community that that we share the gospel with 
We pray too, Lord, for those uh, LCMC churches and Augustana District churches around our area that uh, we partner with and ask that you bless them in their efforts as well. Lord, in your mercy. And Heavenly Father, for those that grieve the loss of a loved one today, whether it be a long time off or most recently, we pray that you would give them comfort and hope. Hope for a resurrection to come and a promise of eternal life together. We pray all these things, Lord, in your name, as you taught us this prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The road trip blessing goes like this. May the Lord God show you the way in the week ahead on your road trip. May he and Jesus be beside you to be your friend, above you to watch over you, behind you to support you. But most importantly, may the one who can give you rest be in your heart this day and all the days ahead. In our Jesus' name we pray, amen. Uh, we're going to sing our closing song, and so uh, this is your last chance to really sing it aloud. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord our God. You reign forever. Our hope, our strong deliverer. You are the everlasting God. Do not fade, you won't grow weary. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. And strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord our God. You reign forever. Our hope, our strong deliverer. You are the everlasting God, the everlasting God. You do not face, you won't grow weary. You're the defender of the weak, and you comfort those in need. And you lift us up on wings like eagles. You are the everlasting God, the everlasting God. And you do not faint, you won't grow weary. You're the defender of the weak, and you comfort those in need. And you lift us up on wings like eagles. All right, let's give it up one more time for the worship band. Please be seated. Because this is the second Sunday of the month, uh, we celebrate birthdays and anniversaries that happened in the month of July. And so, Heather, would you share those with us and invite people to come forward?
weren't from Jerusalem, and I really thought that going to a Disney store wouldn't upset him. So I found Perez. <laughs> He's not going to raise his hand and let me say that. Um, on the 14th, so I'll bring these two James, double teams, Brian and John Cross. On the 23rd, we have two anniversaries, Cordy Ewing, Phil and Lori Bloom, and Tony Murray, Lawrence Noble, and Shannon Turner. On the 24th, celebrating nine years are James and Lindsay Bell. Uh, almost a big time there. Uh, celebrating eight years on the 26th, Jake and Amy Bernard. And on the 29th, celebrating 51 years, Amy Lee and Sandra Winter. I think Sandra might have been there. Yeah, Sandra was. Very good. On July 31st, last day of the month, celebrating 12 years, we have Brian and Wendy Bell. All right. Happy anniversary to you, happy anniversary to you, happy anniversary dear members, happy anniversary to you. On July 4th, we have Carol Sunstead. Our 4th of July babies include Megan Hunter, Heather Lee Jones, Damien Chesky, Dave Schrader. On July 12th, we have Abel Zegel. July 6th, Paul Knutson. The 8th, we have Heidi Famous, Debbie Cooney. The 9th, today, we have Maxine Hendricks. We've got Chris Perkins. We've got a list. Blah, 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 going on and on. And Jake Jacobson. <laughs> and Carrie Famous. On the 11th, we have Ben Butler and Colin May. On the 12th, we have Patty Hilkinson. The 14th, we have Tracy Hilton, Nehemiah Kim. On the 15th, we have Robert Hughes. Hello, Robert. Um, on the 16th, Carolyn Thomas and Nathan Ray. On the 17th, we have Darian Thornton, Archie Stone Fox. 19th, Jared Hilkinson. 21st, Mary Lovett. 22nd, Ted Kuhn and Tom Danielson. The 23rd, Ryan Kuhn and Chloe Knutson. And the 24th, Jordan Bailey. Man, I cannot stop talking about this guy. He's so good. Um, July 20th, we have Shannon Schneider. Hello. Hello, Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Say hello, Tito. Uh, 27th, Stephen Williams. Intro and celebration, Is it please. Yep. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. First, first of July? Young man, you get a catch up right here, over here. Right here. Right there. There we go. Oh, and we got another one back there. What day? I don't know. I can't hear you. It's okay. You can catch up. Just wants to catch up. Just wants to catch up. Yep. Absolutely. After how many years? Two years. What day? What day did you retire? July 4th. Good job. I retired years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday, dear members. Happy
happy birthday to you. Uh, don't go anywhere. Just wait a second. You guys got any instruction for how to do this? Are we ready? Uh, yeah. I was just checking to see if we're, we're ready. Stephanie, come on. Let's go get in line. Um, just a, 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 a breaking news. Uh, uh, we have an ice cream machine that came. And so any of you who love ice cream, this is the Sunday to be here. So uh, join us for that. Uh, we're going to, you can sit inside, you can sit outside, uh, whatever you would like. But the fish fry is ready. So go in peace, serve the Lord. We will. Let's eat fish. Oh, go that way into the front door. Go that way. Blessed be your name when the sun's shining down on me. When the world's all as it should be, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering. Though there's pain in the offering, blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. And when the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name. You give and take away. You give and take away. Choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. You give and take away. You give and take away. My heart will choose to say, Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious name, oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glorious